All right, what's up guys? Here's the first episode of Shoe Reviews with Manny on the Breakneck Life YouTube channel. following the channel for a while you know I'm a big runner this is a store I manage I run a company here down in South Florida Miami today we're gonna start a new segment where I'm gonna be talking about shoes that I run in personally I like to try everything that I recommend even if I don't run in it shoes that I like that I don't like basically just be reviewing some different shoes today we're gonna start with one that I've been running in for a while that you guys saw me in the channel before and I know I said I would give my thoughts on and it's the Adidas Adizero Boston 10. This shoe is new to the Adidas lineup. Eh, it's a couple months now into the Adidas lineup. Still relatively new and it's a complete overhaul of the Boston 9. As you guys can see, this is the Boston 9, this is the Boston 10. Major difference here in these two shoes. They started implementing the light strike here into the Boston 9, but they were still with that old, worn out, boost, heavy, material that they've used on like their ultra boost and stuff like that that they were kind of really known for but in the running community it was very outdated especially catching up to things like nike brooks Saucony, all doing innovative things that adidas just wasn't doing so now what we have here is a much larger stock height in the shoe an eight millimeter drop actually from 39 in the heel to 31 in the forefoot light strike pro which is like their super form that you see in their carbon fiber plated super shoe and light strike at the bottom Initially, I think Adidas missed the mark on their marketing with this shoe because a lot of people were expecting just a quicker, faster, better Boston 9. This is a shoe that a lot of people use for race day, fast day, easy day. It was like their all around shoe that I think the SL20 kind of replaced in their lineup. Whereas this shoe is a much heavier, clunkier shoe than what this was. I, I think the way that they marketed it because they put these fiberglass rods down here. They're not carbon plated rods like the Adios Pro 2, they're super shoe. These are fiberglass rods. A lot of people were expecting this to be a very soft, very fast kind of smooth ride. The training companion to the Adios Pro 2, which I think it still is. As for a fast up-tempo day shoe, I don't think so. This shoe is very heavy now. It comes in at around like 10 and a half ounces. Because it is a lot heavier, it's a lot harder to run quicker in it. But I will say, if you forget about the Boston 9 for a second and think about this as a brand new shoe that Adidas is bringing out, I actually have really enjoyed it. I've put around 200 miles on mine. I'm wearing them right now. And what I've liked about the shoe is that the upper they still have that cellar mesh upper here so it's very breathable it cinches in really well and even though the first initial ride is kind of firm it does soften up a lot as you start using it the first time i ran in it actually there's a video of it a few months ago where i did a 14 miler i said that i felt it a little firm but my legs didn't feel beat up my legs felt great actually throughout the whole thing towards the end i still had like that little bit of pop in my feet and energy in my feet which i really really enjoyed whereas something like this i would feel a lot more beat up in so I think this is a great upgrade to the shoe. Like I said, the upper is very, very breathable. If you look at it as a brand new shoe that Adidas is putting out, it's an amazing daily trainer that you can use for easy days, pick up the pace a little bit, and long run days. Not so much as like a track, tempo, race day type of shoe. I think that's where they were going with this shoe, and they kind of didn't say that. So a lot of people were expecting a better Boston 9. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this shoe. I really enjoy it. This is kind of sloppy. It's episode one, but we'll get better as we go. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next time. Break Run break. it back. <laughs> Run it back. I'm trying to make this shit look nice. Okay. Then it cut into the intro. <laughs> Scratch that. We need to go back like 10 seconds. On the, on the bloopers. Cut. <laughs>